Nigerians <laughs> in the north are impressed with the latest outfit worn by popular Kenyan wood actor Raham Sador. This time, after backlash two months over, two months ago, over her back blacklist dress. I don't know if you guys remember that story. Raman took to her Twitter page to express gratitude to God for the gift of another year in her life as she celebrates her 27th birthday. Then Rah Rahama penned herself a short birthday note that wrote, Ya Allah, thank you for blessing me with a year full of breakthroughs. Happy birthday to me. Hmm. Now Twitter Arewa spoke and commented on an actress tweet. One of them wrote, this is not a day that you should be happy. Hmm. It is a day you like ask for you forgiveness <laughs> from up. Allah. <laughs> Birthday is not allowed in Islam. <laughs> Our person like even said, um, we thank God for your dress. It's a lot better. Somebody said, oh, my. Twitter Arewa is wild. And then the Twitter Arewa, when we had um, a few, many of our souls rest in peace, um, get beheaded. We didn't hear from them for a long time until they finally spoke. And Who? Even Arewa. Right. The community. And then, so, um, I'm not trying to be um, controversial here or be religious, but I think that we're losing our focus. We're not prioritizing on what we should. Now, this is a woman who's just happy for herself and, um, and is happy that it's her birthday and she's celebrating. And then you still want to bring um, a lot of things. I, didn't, I don't understand. Birthdays are not allowed. I'm not allowed to be grateful that I was born on a particular day. Like, is that what you're telling me? What is me? You must be. It seems mm -hmm. like, according to Twitter Islam, I don't know about the actual Islam, mm. but according to Twitter Islam, it's like you must be, you know, like you must be in this humble state 247. Don't look like you're having fun. Don't look too nice. No, God no, forbid you even show, a, show small skin. You know, you must. All this shouting of happy birthday, it's not humble enough. No, to be fair, we have um, Christianity, which, which is also, uh, what's it called now, engineered that way. We have the deeper life who don't believe in celebrating birthdays or Christmas or no, any of that. they do. I, I said deeper life, sorry. I'm Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. They don't believe in celebrating Christmas and birthdays and all of that. Now, we have the deeper life who don't believe in exposing any part of your body we have mm. the mfm like the serious mfm who don't wear earrings they don't wear mm. jewelries they don't make their hair you have to be on low cut and all of that so yes you have to be on low cut ah, my mom was a core mfm woman so i know these things don't worry i'm ah, speaking from experience she okay. was oh my mom said oh, ja, ah, oh, <laughs> ja, oh. <laughs> yeah so finally um i'm just saying that it's not just an islamic thing it's 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 um a religious thing and i think it's the brainwash that we've seen but i just i don't even want to call it a brainwash whatever rocks your boat because at the end of the day it's um your belief it's um your relationship with your god and um if you feel like you have to follow those doctrines and rules for you to be closer to you oh well and good that's what works for you mm. i really don't follow all those doctrines but man i'm blessed <laughs> I might be rough around the edges, I mean, baby, yes. <laughs> I mean, if, if some people yeah. have the right to feel like they can be spokespeople for mm. Allah, then I also have the right to be spokesperson for my own belief and tell mm. you that your belief ain't... Oh, I can't say that on TV. Damn mm. it. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say, what, like, from my heart, you know, it's absolute rubbish as far as I'm concerned. I find it very um, oppressive. And I've met a few Islamic people who disagree. Mm. So I think just like you mentioned, you know, even in the Christianity culture, there's mm. like denominations. Mm. I think there's spectrums of people on the Islam mm. and whatever. And it seems like Arawa Twitter obviously carries a lot of the extremists mm. on that spectrum because we don't see that with the Muslims in Lagos. And we know a lot of Muslims who celebrate their birthdays, who show they don't even just show back. They show front and center and behind and I mean, anything they want to show. And, and it doesn't you. get that much of a you know backlash. And I, it's, I, I like that you mentioned that it's um, it's not just Islamist religion, but I think it's also just even mindset as well. Because I know there are some people who are not even religious at all and still think like that. They're a lot more traditional in that sense. But I've always said this, and I'll say it again with the story. You don't have any rights. I don't care what you smoke for dinner, what you, you've you chosen your belief to be. I don't think you have any right to impose that on anybody else. You get you are the authority of yourself. That's it. You know, even the person that you pushed out, and when she turns 18 or when he turns 18, you no longer authority over that person. Um, so at the end of the day, the person can do what they want. And you should give them the liberty to do that. I remember a comment section reading on this story. The, late, the guy said, um, this is your birthday, whatever. Just make sure that 
um, when Allah calls you to give a recording of the of how you spent your money on your birthday, something like that, some some ridiculous whatever. Like everything has to be strategized. Yeah, and that you know you're not basically allowed to spend money on your birthday. I feel like okay, even mm. if that's your belief, that she I think she knows that she will account to God about how she spent her birthday to God. You don't need to be. The spokesperson of that, especially if you're not asked. I don't know. And that's really thing, weird. I don't like the fact that you're trying to speak for grown people. The mm -hmm. fact that I'm, I'm holding off. If, you, if you're putting all of these to people that don't know, let's like say bring up a, a, a child a in child. the way of the Lord, mm. and when he grows, he will not do. Now, this person has been brought up in this way, and if the person decides to depart, <laughs> You see your business. I don't even think you know exactly how the person was. But just because you yeah. even mentions Islam doesn't mean she actually values all the mm. same things that you... We find disparities in other religions as well. And they're all under the same And I've seen name. the ones that do the goody two shoes and then they're still the worst in the of world. Of course. And then I've seen the ones that are real and expressive and they're the sweetest people I've ever met. So exactly. I've ever met, sorry. Anyway, Sha. Yeah, Wahala for Twitter, Rewa.